Hey everyone, it's Lean from ColoradoLean.com. Welcome back to the craft room. Let's make a t-shirt with some Caesar Glitter HTV today. This coming weekend, July 12th and 13th, is Bobstock weekend. And I am going to make myself a Three Dog Night concert t-shirt. So a few of the things we're going to need, obviously, Caesar Glitter HTV. I'm going to be using Old Gold. I will be putting my design on a Gildan Heavy Cotton Ladies V-neck t-shirt. I picked this one up from Michael's, but there are other locations online that you can get these from. We'll need a lint roller, a tape measure. I have my pin pin weeding tool and a Cricut weeding tool. To cut the vinyl, I will be using my Cricut Explore Air 2 and a standard grip cutting mat. Um, my mats are getting a little less sticky, so I may or may not need to use some painter's tape to hold that HTV down. I'll be lining up my design with my Val Love t-shirt ruler. I may need some Amazon heat tape, resistant tape. I don't know about that yet. And I will be pressing my image with my HTV Ront Auto heat press. So let me go ahead and get this cleaned off a little bit and then we'll get started on our project. So the first thing we need to do is we need to measure our shirt and see how wide we want our design. I'm pretty sure there's a formula for this somewhere, but I'm not sure where it is or what it is. But just to see, I'm, I'm going to line it up with the point on my shirt. Um, the final design will be two, maybe three fingers down from there. Uh, so if we line it up on five inches, see what a 10 inch design would look like. So my ruler measurement starts there and it would end, <clears throat> would end here at 10 inches. Yeah, I think 10 inches wide is going to be, it's going to be pretty good. I might drop it down to nine, nine and a half. Um, we'll, We'll see what happens in Cricut Design Space. So I'm going to mark down between 9 and 10 inches wide, so I don't forget. And let's go ahead and jump into Cricut Design Space, and I'll show you how I designed this concert t-shirt. Well, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but I seem to have lost all the footage from Cricut Design Space. Um, but that's okay. I went ahead and... I have this cut, and it's actually the second time I cut it. Um, this was the original that I did. So my original thought was Three Dog Night was in font size 150, and Joy to the World and Bob Sock 24 was in font 72. And you know what? It just wasn't enough for me. So I decided to up the font size. And now the band name Three Dog Night is in size 200 font size. And the song title and Bob Sock 2024 is in font size 78, but it is Rockwell Bold. So the whole thing should be bigger. And I did have to use some tape to score, to hold this down. So let's just go ahead and start working on this and weeding it out. And while I do this, let me tell you a little bit about Bob Stock. It is a music festival that our small town in Northeast Colorado has every year. Um, it is the first, or it is the second full weekend of July, and it's free. It is 100% free. There are food vendors and 
craft vendors on Friday night and Saturday. And there are currently, I believe, five separate stages, maybe six, where different bands play throughout the day and the evening. Um, some of the major headliners that I have seen, well, we'll start off with the very first Bob Stock we tried to go to. That was back in 2012, I believe. It was Little River Band. And unfortunately, they got stormed out. So we missed seeing them. But last year, we saw 38 Special. In the past, we've seen Lou Graham from Foreigner, Mark McGrath from Sugar Ray, Vanilla Ice, Lita Ford, Warrant, Blue Oyster Cult, Loverboy, Starship, Grand Funk Railroad, The Guess Who, Survivor, and Starship. And there are so many more on there. I believe Bob Stock has been going since 2008. I think that sounds about right. Um, it is really a fun time. And when the headliners aren't on, there are local and regional bands that play throughout the day. And it is just, I am, I am really looking forward to this year. Mostly because I'm no longer working a day job. So I can go down any time of the day and wander around, check out the vendors. I can just enjoy the entire, the entire thing. And I am really looking forward to that. So I'm just going to go ahead and speed through the rest of the weeding. And I will be back with you in a bit. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's going to look so much nicer on the shirt. It's going to be a lot bigger, bolder. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that much better. I'm glad I decided to change that. Okay. I'm going to clean up and then we will be back with each other in a minute and we'll move on to the next step. All right. So moving on to the next step. The first thing we need to do is we need to clean our shirt with the lint roller. Um, I did already pre-press this to get some of the wrinkles out. Okay, get that out of the way. And now we're going to bring in our t-shirt ruler. I can get you a good look at that. Um, this is the adult size and it's for a scoop neck and you can also do a v-neck with this so that's pretty handy. So let's get our Gildan t-shirt back in here. Now of course black on black not going to be easy to see but what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this point with the point of my t-shirt. I'm going to try and line that up. Let's, let's see, maybe if I can put this card in here. Just cover up some of that. Okay, let me stand up here and get a look. Okay, I think I think that looks fine. So I'll go ahead and get rid of my little card here. And here is my completely weeded design. I think this is going to look beautiful on here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to find the center of this. 
so I'm going to fold it sticky side out. And because I have a weeding box, I'm just going to line those lines up a little bit. And then up here at the top, I'm going to make a, a crease in my plastic. And that should be the center of my design. So I'm going to stand up here again. And I know you're supposed to do two to three fingers down from your collar, but I think I'm going to go up pretty close. In fact, I'll probably, because I have so much space here from the top of the plastic to the design, I might just line that up right at the tip of the collar. And then I think that'll be down far enough. I will get this out of the way. Scooch my shirt up a little bit. Oh yeah, that's going to look really nice. Okay. So this is sticky. But because I am still going to be moving over to the heat press, I am going to tape this down with my heat resistant tape. Okay, so that was fast. Now I'm going to rearrange everything. I will get my heat press turned on and I'll be back with you in just a bit. All right, so we're back here with the HTV Ron Auto heat press. We'll go ahead and turn this on. And according to my directions, I need a temperature of 305 degrees. So we will push the temperature and it's at 305 and then we need this for 12 seconds and that's what it's set at. So let's go ahead and get our t-shirt lined up here. Um, I don't need to put a Teflon sheet over the top of this because I do have a Teflon sheet on my upper platen and I will definitely put a link for this down in the description below and in the corresponding blog post. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this on here. Now we do want to get this part of the collar off of the back of the tray and that's to ensure that this entire piece will have full contact with the upper platen. So we just have to Pull it back a little bit, check it with our fingers. There, and that should be fine. And now we'll just hang out and wait for the heat press to come up to temperature. All right, we are up to temperature of 305 degrees. So let's go ahead and push the A so it will automatically lower the platen. And we will just put it in and wait. Um, I did want to let you know that according to the time and temp chart, um, Caesar Glitter HTV needs to have a warm peel. So wait about 15 seconds or so. I have a stamping up metal tin that I like to kind of run over this to kind of help pull some of the heat off of it. Ooh, that's hot. All right, and I will take off some of this heat resistant tape. And let's start peeling. And of course, as with all heat transfer anything, we want to make sure we go slow to ensure that everything is stuck down. Oh, this is so pretty. <laughs> Oh, 
This is so, so pretty. Now, the reason I haven't taken this off of the oh, seat right there, that's why. So I had one letter kind of pop up. So we will put that down. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of this tape off first. Just so we can start peeling from the other side. Okay, make sure everything is... All right, and then I'll just put that in for another... Yeah, we'll just run another 12 seconds. Okay, and then I will use my metal box again and just kind of start to cool this down a little bit. And then we'll start peeling from this side. Nope. Nope, that's still coming up. Okay. Oh, you know why? Okay. Yeah, okay. My bad. That's my bad. Caesar Easy Weed is 305 degrees. Caesar Glitter is 320 degrees. No wonder it's not coming up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I need to make better notes. So this is the third time we did it. And there was just two little spots. Everything else was already stuck down. So let's very carefully try and peel this up. So most of this was already done. So it is peeling up just fine. Let's get that J. Okay. All right. And then let's just straighten this out a little bit. And then I will give it one final press. I think I will. I'll turn it up to 315 degrees. Okay, we are up to 315 degrees. And I'm just going to give this one final press at 12 seconds just to make sure I have everything down. Um, in case you missed my little mistake, <laughs> Caesar. Easy weed is 305 degrees for 12 seconds. And Caesar glitter is 320 degrees for 15 to 20 seconds. Definitely going to write that down. But this is so pretty. So I'll give you a shot here. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn everything back around and I'll give you another, another, a, a better look at the finished shirt. All right, everyone, we are back and I have a finished concert t-shirt. This is fantastic. I love how bright and shiny this Caesar gold glitter HTV is. I hope you can see that in the camera um <laughs> yeah so as you know i made a little mistake with the time and temperature um i have this time and temp chart from snip to it um it says that caesar easy weed is 305 degrees for 10 to 15 seconds with a hot or cold peel i know that however apparently 
I didn't know and I didn't look that glitter HTV is 320 degrees for 15 to 20 seconds. Now what I did look at was I did look at the warm peel and that you need to wait at least 15 seconds before you peel it. So yeah, I will be taking better notes, putting it in my little notebook so I don't forget for the next time. But if you remember when I was taking the backing paper off, I didn't have any issues with the HTV not sticking until I got here to the T and over on this side, my J wasn't stuck down tight, but everything to the center and this bottom portion peeled perfectly at 305 after 12 seconds. So, you know, lesson learned. Learn from my mistakes, I guess. <laughs> if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I put up the next video. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.